Bless you, sir. Oh, Master Bunker, come to know what hath passed between me and Ford's wife. That indeed, Sir John, is me business. I will not lie to you. I was with her the hour she appointed me. And sped you, sir? Very ill-favoredly, Master Brooke. How so, sir? Did she change her determination? No, Master Brooke, but the peeking cuckled her husband. Master Brooke, dwelling in a continual larm of jealousy, comes me in the instant of our encounter. <laughs> and at his heel, a rabble of his companions thither provoked to search his house for his wife's lover. What? While you were there? While I was there. And did he search for you and could not find you? You shall hear. As good luck would have it, in comes one Mistress Page, gives intelligence of Ford's approach. And in her distraction and Ford's wife intelligence, they conveyed me into a buck basket. A buck basket? <laughs> By the Lord, a buck basket. Rammed me in with foul smocks, socks, shirts, greasy napkins, Master Brooke, that had the rankest compound, a villainous smell that ever offended nostril. And how long lay you there? <laughs> you shall hear, Master Brooke, what I have suffered to bring this woman to evil for your good. <laughs> Being thus crammed into the basket, a couple of Ford's knaves were called in by their mistress to carry me to Washington. They took me on their shoulders, met the jealous knave her husband in the door, who asked them what they had in their basket. <laughs> I quaked for fear, lest the lunatic knave would have searched it. But fate, ordaining he should be a cuckold, held his hand. 